Today, we are going to combine two of my passion, art and dolls. For today, we have the Rainbow High Color and Create doll, where you can color on them, as you can tell from the title of the doll itself. <laughs> I'm actually going to be using these Sharpie fabric markers for most of it, though I will be using these markers, test them out on the shirt to test out the washability, and use them on the hair, because I kind of want to be able to change the color of the hair whenever I want, so. Let us free her from her packaging and get going. Hello, lady. Oh, these are like little inserts that you can put underneath the clothes when you're coloring them. That's really cool. Nice touch. It's pretty easy to remove this time. Usually it can be a little weird in trying to peel it off of the cardboard. Okay. Come on. Okay. Almost done. We just got to get this guy. Wow. Usually it is not that easy to get all the tape off the background of these. <laughs> okay. Now that it's freed from the plastic, we could just like pull her out here. Hello, lady. We cut out a cone, a little cone. The markers. And then we got the t-shirt and accessories. That is dried. Let us free her. Now, for the back of the head ones, I like to use a nail clipper because you can get in really close to the head when clipping these. And you can just Free leg and another. Oh my. Very stuck in there. There we go. <laughs> Her hair is going everywhere. It's always such a traumatic experience <laughs> trying to free them from their packaging. <laughs> oh, one of her hands flew off. But good thing it's one of those ones you can easily just stick back in. And she is free! Yay! Yee. Alright. Probably would be a good idea to wash out her hair since it's got all this stuff in it. So we'll do that in a little bit. Then we'll open up these. Got tape everywhere. Tape and pieces of plastic. The environment is screaming. <laughs> All right. These are cute looking. <laughs> a lot of tape. Packaging is a chaotic thing. Yay. Uh, the colors of the rainbow and then finally we have the extra accessories and shoes and things i probably will be using these shoes because i love the platform shoes so much tape let me free you <laughs> there's tape and glue and all kinds of stuff there you go all right we have a shirt a little extra one we're gonna test the markers that it came with on this shirt and test out the washability. And then we have some little cute little scrunchies. Eee! They're so cute. And of course, the six shoes. 
Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna clean this all up. I'm gonna wash out this styling gel stuff in her hair and then we will get started. Woo! All right, while we wait for her hair to dry, we are going to swatch these markers and test out their washability on this shirt. So. All right, we're gonna test these on this t-shirt. Woohoo! Let's do some polka dots. Oh my. It started looking cute and then it started looking really ugly. <laughs> yeah. Did I skip yellow? I think I skipped yellow. That's why you don't have the magical color of yellow in there. Okay, so we got this cute confetti thing. And now I'm gonna do like a big swatch on the back. I actually like that as a design. Maybe you could do a swatch shirt or something. Okay, we're gonna just let it dry. And then we're gonna test its washability. I already feel sad and it's literally just dots. Like, I can redo this. Hello and welcome to my weirdly lit bathroom. Let us wash. At the decoration portion, I am starting off with the pants. Now, I decided to use the Sharpie fabric markers for this project because I wanted it to be permanent. I didn't want it to wash out or get ruined over time, so I decided to go with permanent choices. I decided to go with a like half and half design where one half is purple and the other half is this pink to orange to yellow gradient. And then I'm going to be putting patterns on top of them to make it look cool. I had one small annoyance while working on this, is that the Sharpie pens, as they're like drying on the fabric, it makes, has, gives the fabric like this really gross feeling and I was like handling stuff while it was like still kind of damp, it was just gross <laughs> feeling. And I was like, man, it better not dry with this feeling on it. And like, thankfully, it did not dry with that weird, gross stickiness. So, all's good. And for the t-shirt, I just gave it like black outlines because I wanted to keep it pretty simple since everything else was going to be like colorful and patterned. For the purple half, I am doing a checkerboard pattern. I had a fear that it wouldn't fully line up but I also thought, you know, when people put fabric patterns together and sew them, it doesn't always line up with the patterns. So it was like, it'll be more realistic that way. On to other things, a five below opened up nearby. It was great. I went in there and the sheer joy I felt when I found Vocaloid stickers in that store. Oh, I've been wanting vocal a bunch of Vocaloid stickers for over 10 freaking years. <laughs> so I was just so excited to see some Vocaloid stickers in there. And then there's also a bunch of art supplies, like they had markers, pens, brush markers, and all different kinds of papers. And I wanna maybe do a video where I go to Five Below, grab some of the supplies there and check them out, see how good they are. When I was there, I also bought some like round canvases. 
Oh, and for the other side of the pants, I did this cool wave thing. I always have to add sound effects to things. It's, it's just in my nature. Next up, we have the scrunchies. Um, these were difficult because the fabric is scrunched up. <laughs> so, <laughs> scrunchy. I would create a technique where I like stretch it out and then like put the fabric as flat as possible and try to color it all in. Which worked pretty well, but it was still a little inconsistent. But the fabric itself, the markers like bled out, so it kind of helped with the coloring process on those a bit more and getting in all the little white spaces. And of course, I'm coloring them to match the pants. Love these polka dots. Moving on to the shoes, I decided to use the washable markers on them. And I will say that this is not an ideal surface for markers at all. I feel it needs more texture on this kind of material and it's like super smooth and would be really streaky so not the best layout but if you look at it at a distance it's okay. We are now starting on the hair and I had originally planned to do her hair in these cute like pigtail braids but and I was gonna have like one color streak as one of the braid bits. But that ended up not working out, like I struggled with getting the braids to work and then I couldn't get the scrunchie over it and it's just like, okay, we're gonna have to switch up our plans. And I decided to just color the whole side, like this whole side just purple. And the other side was gonna be the gradient. Now this took a long time. Markers are not an efficient way to color a doll's hair. It took forever. <laughs> This is one of the longest parts of the process. We continue the pink, orange, and yellow gradient on this side of the hair, which I really love. I love the color gradient on the hair. It looks super cool. I'm very happy with how it turned out. We're just about done here, so I'm gonna leave y'all with some music and then return to give my final thoughts. here and I would just like to say thank you so much for watching here is the concept art so you get an idea of my designs and then the reveal <laughs>